Welcome back everyone to my favorite place in TNO, last days of Europe, Africa! So, Ugandish militias blockade Kampala from the Not uh, Notbe Horde of Uganda. There have been some disturbing new developments in the ongoing Ugandan unrest. Militias, believed to be under the command of the warlord Idi Amin, have seized many of the main roads which connect the capital Kampala to other important cities and ports in the region. These militias have been established, or have established, a variety of checkpoints and roadblocks making normal traffic all but impossible for most. It is believed that at least three Germans have been killed in separate incidents at these roadblocks, while road transport for a garrison has become precarious at best. In short, the government of Uganda is under siege in its own capital with little sign of relief. Bad word, bad word, bad word. Last of the forest report from the desk of Colonial Bavata Ricard Bayer. After weeks of searching all villages and the forest, we have turned out no trace of the administrator. The SS reports that any further efforts of recovery should be subjected, or would be subjected to attacks by rebels, as many search parties have already been reported missing. Thus, all search for the missing administrator must stop. With this loss, not only will our precious time have slipped through our fingers, we are hold in Zimbabwe grows every week up. This weakness will only embolden the rebels, with, while the future is unknown, where... I see where anarchy runs rampant and where powers to restore order. Bad word it, bad word it all. Cool. So we have weapons. We can. Oh, we can actually increase stuff here. Oh. So I reloaded the you know game save whenever we you know load back at the beginning of every episode. I literally just you know start doing stuff again. But right now we have we are at stage three of Dev celebrations. Stage three celebrations. Crushed under the boots of the Aryans, Africa finally fell silent. Right now it's catastrophic. It's in Zimbabwe. It's getting worse in Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya, and Uganda. But. It's all one giant celebration. Let's see, increase the ranks. Well, I guess we might as well do this, right? Oh, increase weapon supplies by one day. So, we got a couple co comments to get through and go through. Uh, someone did recommend, though, that we should train some units and some divisions. Uh, actually, we could probably do that. So, just so in case we need to put soldiers places. Uh, we're going to duplicate this one, maybe. And we'll put in tinies. Which sounds really kind of weird. And we're just going to poop out a lot of these divisions. Uh, just so we have garrisons and stuff like that all over the living place. So we're going to do that. And we're going to train like as many as we possibly can. There we go. Cool. I want you to go high. It shouldn't take that long to deploy these guys. Uh, let's see. So like I said, we're in celebra celebration level 3. And things are going down by like 0 .3, 0 .03 a day. So, so 52.9 drops it down to 4, oh, 0.5 a day. Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh god. But hey, this economy's doing pretty well. Let's see, comments. Let's see, who would win between, between not between, we ain't, we ain't queens here. Maybe. Maybe we are. Uh, King Kong or Godzilla? Um, I would say Godzilla would probably win. I'm not really sure, but I think Godzilla would win. Let's see, don't get bongoed in the Congo. Well, actually, the Congo's pretty nice right now, according to Hans Hutig. Uh, yeah. Actually, this is Uganda. Zimbabwe is actually really bad. Uganda's worsening. I don't want to spend that PP there, but it's 49%. If we get enough command power, we can actually probably make it okay. Uh, let's see. Don't get bongoed in the Congo. We will unrest in Zimbabwe. My shot helped up. I received distressing news. The garrison station and the Zimbabwe region were unable to respond to our repeated communication attempts, all the while gunshots and explosions were heard in the background. This has led many, including myself, to believe that one of our greatest fears is that the dissidents have managed to overthrow the local forces, which has been realized. As you read this notice right now, as said rebels will be causing chaos, of sabotaging supply lines and destroying infrastructure, preventing us from deploying large amounts of ground forces to suppress their open active defiance. This group, known as ZANU, by intelligence has forced our hand, requiring us to divert our efforts to quelling the racket rather than pursuing our intended objectives. With that being said, however, we cannot neglect them. Lest they grow further out of control and manage to secure a firm grip on the ill-gained territories, eventually to claim themselves as a separate entity. With all that in mind, we hope to support reaches your reaches you, Herr Hutik, and with swiftness may you successfully deal with the resistance. Hi Hutik, Colonel Bavata, Rekord Baia, Badamt. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. Uh, let's see, other, uh, other comments. Someone said I should put captions on my videos. I'm not sure how that works. I think it just auto, the, does YouTube auto create captions? I think that's what I saw when I was, you know, kind of looking through the stuff. I think YouTube automatically does it, so I could be very wrong about that, but I don't know. I do I do know I speak quite quickly, so that is one of my definite faults. More weapons. Actually, how many guns do we have? Oh, we got more than enough guns. Let's just, can we get guns? Guns at the booty. Currently, we're doing camp equalization because we love camps. Camps are nice. Camps are fun, especially when we're all equal in the camps. We're all equal here, my friends. But some are more equal than others. Anyways, let's see. Make more divisions. We're going to need more PP where we are going. Oh, you, you, oh man, we need a lot of PP. A lot of political power. Most definitely. And actually, since we did that, 
we're going to go ahead and do find the members. It seems that eliminating the uh, darker skin leaders is not enough to bring down the riders and their simple machinations against us. In that case, we will simply extend the search down to the single terrorist, and this time we will make sure that none of our units will be slacking at their job. We are so close to achieving Pan-African Aryan Utopia, and we will not tolerate laziness or incompetence from our SS units. <sighs> so be it. Ah, look! The economy. It just warms my heart. But let's go ahead and see. Can we deploy these guys yet? We cannot yet, but pleasant treats or poison? Dry, tasteless, coated in a crusted layer of dust, and lacking any form of pleasantry or greatness. The Reichskommissar had understood that this was to be the way of life for all true Aryan sons of the Fatherland here in the Reichstadt. And yet he knew that not all were pleased. Not all who served under him understood the necessity for strengthening of their souls in these r withering times. And yet the stench of poison would not wrench this true son of Germany from his cleanse yet. What is this? What the bad word is this? Who took ask? As the mess all fell to silence, two German officers looked onwards at that pastry that they had specially baked. Now within the Reichskommissar's furious grasp. Silence? Bad word. Silence? I assume you're looking to sneak it into my meal and poison. For poison? Isn't it trying to kill me? Hans raged. No, sir. It's a balloon. No, sir, that that is it. All of it is. That's all it is, sir. One of the officers said, "Ah, dish from home." The Rex Commissar asked with a smile. As the two officers nodded silently. Hutig's smile faded away, however, as he threw the pastry to the ground and proceeded to crush the pastry under his boot in a series of crushing thrusts with his boot. Take them to the whipping post immediately, Hutig stated as the two officers were dragged away, screaming. No true son of Germany will fancy themselves anything more than a warrior's feast. From here until the end of days, Hutig screamed as he stormed off from the mess hall's tent. Such hedonism remains salacious and foul. How dare they. Chaos in Salisbury, from the desk of Colonia Babalta Rickard Bea. A ro rebel group known as Zanu is attacking Salisbury, Salisbury as I'm writing this. I have no idea what's happened so far, but I can only assume that our control of Zimbabwe has effectively collapsed. Numerous strategic positions have already fallen to the rebels. Any counterattack we have attempted has only resulted in failure and tremendous losses. Half of the cities betrayed us and risen to fight with the rebels. The SS headquarters is under assault and all government buildings have suffered some form of damage. Right now, I have barricaded myself in the residence. It is far too unsafe to leave for someone like me. I also cannot return to Quillamain, like you have requested. All modes of transport have been taken over and have presumably been commandeered by the rebels for their own end. This is the end for me. No. No. Ricard, no. Actually, do we have fighting the black market? No, we actually don't have that. Wait, what do we have here? So, send supplies. Okay, we can do that one. Yeah, Zimbabwe is just god-awful. It's catastrophic. But what about... Well, Uganda is also pretty bad as well. Um. Oh. Hey, Mozambique is still pretty good, though. Nice. Uh, deploy them. We have 36 new divisions. Alright, so from here on out, we're just going to do this. Everyone here is a division that can be used. I don't think we're going to end up going to war with anyone else from here on out. So... That's so weird. that we have the attempt to lower resistance button here? Huh. So we're going to go and try this. It might not go okay. It might go okay. I don't want to see our gross Afrikanische Reichstadt fall apart. You know, it's weird. Well, not really weird. And I see why the devs didn't put this in. Um, we don't get hard numbers as to the, <clears throat> some might say, betterment of Africa. Or the just casual removing of some peoples in Africa. We have no hard numbers of what actually happens here. So that's probably how the devs can get away with it. Right? If there's no hard numbers... You can make up whatever you want in your own head, right? And I'm making up a lot of numbers in my head. Am I? Am I not? Maybe. I don't know. What am I thinking? I'm thinking I just had some Dunkin' Donuts coffee before I started recording this, and I feel very energized right now, and I'm going to crash hard later. Anyways, I love Africa. That's my favorite playground. You know, TNO, Vicky 2, not so much Hoi 4. Wait, this is Hoi 4. Uh, yeah, Vicky 2 and TNO. Uh, Africa. If we all just had more time to spend with each other in Africa, we'd all be okay. There we go. We need 113 bad word divisions. We'll bad word it. All right. Very nice. If that's the case, we don't need these normal infantry divisions. Oh, those are tanks. Yeah, let's keep the tanks for now. These guys, we don't need them. I have a feeling we're not going to fight any more wars. So, uh, t tinies. Yes. Wow. Actually kind of helped out. Cool. I'll keep the tanks black market available. Very nice. And, yes, please. How's the economy doing? Pleasantly. Minus 3.2 billion. Unrest in Rwanda, Arundi. The garrison stationed in Rwanda, 
Rwanda, Burundi region were unable to respond to our reported communication attempts. All the while, gunshots and explosions were heard. This is pretty much exactly the same thing I read yesterday, so... Vadamt... Bad words, my friend. Let's stop saying bad words all the time. Oh, look. Okay, things are going very badly. Uneasy. Point four. Oh, it's going down by point six every day. Come on, we're just trying to celebrate here. What's wrong with all y'all? Oh, boy. So if things don't go according to plan, then, uh... Well, I, well, we'll try something else. What do we have here? Oh, we can aid. Oh. Well, things are going... Uh, Zimbabwe is collapsing. Um, no. They're just so catastrophic. 14.1 drops down to 13 point... Jesus Christ. Uh, can we find the members, please? Please. Unrest in Kenya. Same thing. Oh, man. I don't want this to be that short of an episode. Oh, good lord. Okay, so here... Before things go too badly, I want you to be able to read everything here for the focuses. If, so if you want to read these focuses, please go right ahead because basically what I'm going to do off screen is act as if nothing has happened. And I'm going to pretty much probably use console commands to get everything done here. So, yeah. Now you get more delayed political power and stability that way. A pure Africa. Very cool. Cool. So I want to show you everything that we have. The spirit of system efficiency. Actually, I'll show you new state, new policies as well. I might as well, right? So... Ein Reines Afrika. Increased Germanization targets. Oh, a little bit of lag because we're auto-saving. And total integration or death. Or just just casual removal. Very nice. So there's this side of the tree. Strict work... Well, the German focus ma management focus. There's that one. Strict work quotas as well. African exploitation. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Oh, camps! I love camps! God, I, don't, I should go back to camp sometime. Then again, I'm getting too old for camp, probably. That guy'd be a camp leader, probably. Oh, boy. Can I say that? With, with the context of TNO? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually say that. But I just did, and I will say it again. I would become a camp leader. Just because of how old I am. Not because of any other reason. Definitely not because of any other reason. Arms for the soldiers. Very nice. And we'll resume looking at this stuff very soon. Suchen an und vernichten. Hultig was not pleased. One could tell by that by looking at him. His eyes squinted with teeth and with and teeth clenched in rage. How must it? How long must it take to find and shoot a dozen traitors? He bellowed. The level of competence surrounding him was incredible. It almost made him pine for the days of Schenk and Mullet. At least then he could mostly do his own work without being interrupted by their failings. Now these very same failings on their parts were about to turn into disasters thanks to the years of his management. The plan had been simple. The SS would eliminate first the heads of numerous resistance movements that dotted the Reichstag. Then, with their leadership gone, it would be a simple matter for the SS to sweep in and fill every degenerate and traitor with a thousand bullet holes. That had been Hutig's master plan. It was all following two bad words. He would need to act quickly, as he had before, if he was going to salvage the mess. He turned to the man who had brought him to the last report. Tell the soldiers we're advancing to the phase two, he growled. We're on, fa we're on celebratory phase three. The man scurried away quickly, seemingly inc incredibly eager to serve and pass on the Stahetler's message. But they could not eliminate the rebellion's leaders ahead of time. They would simply push forward on eliminating all the rebels by any means who take deem necessary. The leaders would be amongst the corpses at the end of the day. A wise, wise choice. And we have some more research. Things might not be going great for us in all places, but hey, we got time to research and invest in our next focus. Find the supporters. So it seems that even tracking down and neutralizing the terrorist cell down to a single member was not enough. The problem that is is that our SS units overlooked a very important detail when dealing with subhumans. They are not alone. In the Psalms and the camps, there are people who sympathize with the cause and offer their support, even if they are not formally affiliated with the revolters. We must remember in our mission that no one is innocent. Every single subhuman native is guilty merely by existing. Therefore, it is only a matter of time until he plots to revolt against his Aryan masters. There shall be no room for the leniency or leniency and all mistakes. We will destroy them all. One way or another. Hmm... All right, so we have increased weapon supplies. Very good, very good. Oh, look at this. Not great. Stage three. I want stage four. All right, so let's see. Do we do factories in the darkness? I can't remember. Arms for the soldier. I think we did that. So I'm not sure we can actually increase arm shipments by, by now. Oh, actually, I didn't scroll down for this one. There you go. If you like, oh, it's barely the same thing. Increase arm shipments. Oh, Salazar. Well, we survived longer than Salazar. Increase arm shipments. Uh, Co-op the natives, of course. Oh, okay, so same thing with Angola. Not good. Unless in Sansibar, which makes sense. Oh, declares Ugandan independence. From the not behold of Uganda, situation dire forces loyal to Idi Amin has seized Kampala in full. Garrison is almost entirely wiped out or has been evacuated. Government officials evacuated by boat to the south. The government of Uganda region has fallen. Idi Amin likely to proclaim independence in mere hours. That's disturbing. Urgent. And then we have recovered the Boers. All right. Spark the uprisings. Gather our strength. 
Loot and burn. I love looting and burning. Please don't rise up. Okay, phew. Abteilung für Afrikanische Freiwillige. Freiwillige. And then Earth needs a little bit more salt. And then borders. We like to close the borders. And let's take a look over here real quick. Anything over here? Not really. Wow. This looks like Germany almost before the Civil War. And then order to the balls. Southern exploitation. POW extradition. Bases in the Ball Republic. Enforces a Vasselenstadt. Cleaning up the OFN. Recover African military records. Drag down the veterans. Find some socialist deuterinos. As well as firebomb the south. So those are all the focuses that we have currently. And you know what? We have survived longer than the Iberian Union. So. I think we're doing pretty darn well. Just saying. Wait. Is it... Um, they're not increasing the... Hmm. But I do want to show you the super event that happens. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, who are you? Orungu? Wait, I thought it was Uganda that rebelled. Leon Mba. Hey, you know it's good when Gross Africana show Reichstadt lasts longer than... Oh, my gosh. Um, we're all expecting a mess in Africa, but... Hmm. Uganda revolts? Oh, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. Uh... Oh, we can play as Uganda? Nah. Oh, Uganda's all the way up here. I thought that was more central. Alright, Turo. Man, that'd be cool if they had a unique focus tree. Kind of like the German Empire in Kaiserreich after they lose Europe. So, political cleansing. To all loyal citizens of the Gross Afrikanische Reichstadt, be aware that there are some among us, fellow Germans, who oppose the great vision of Stahetla. SS Hutzig, who wishes to uh, who, and wish to lavish praise amongst the weak, lest the people of Africa. In order to ensure that these worms do not continue to infect our society, we will instruct in the ways that you may spot a race traitor. Anyone expressing sympathy for the lesser peoples of Africa, specifically Mueller's native SS divisions, or the many rebellious sects of natives that have continuously rebelled against the rightful Aryan yoke. Anyone expressing doubt as to Hutig's competence or sanity, or believing that the Shah the SS is a traitor towards the German Reich, the ideology of National Socialism, or the Aryan race as a whole, anyone who expresses a belief that the Reichstag in its formation, or its government is illegitimate or that Aryan rule in Africa is any way or any sense unnecessary, unjustified, or temporary. If you encounter anyone expressing or even holding these faulty beliefs, please report them to the nearest SS officer and they will be dealt with harshly. A very good initiative. And that w helped us out. Doesn't look like it did, but it helped us out. Hmm. Ah, the great purge. Yes. Ah, since we're here anyways. Men of the Reichstag, this is a moment where we must prove our strength in the face of unsurmountable challenges. Our final struggle against the subhumans and the degeneracy is coming to an end. On the battlefields of Africa, we will fight them to the last man. We will bleed them in the jungles. We will drop our bombs flying over the villages. This moment is what we all is what all true warriors strive for. At 2400 hours, all the units will erect roadblocks in, or blockades in all towns with over 5,000 inhabitants. Any individual seen forcing or otherwise going past the defensive lines will be terminated. Meanwhile, all other units will scramble with the task to detect and remove structures used by rebellious or Organizations. At designated orders, all units will enter the city and neutralize any resistance still remaining. Our success in the mission will solidify our control over the continent once and for all, and not a single man will be spared to secure victory. We will build our Aryan homeland in Africa by any means necessary. <sighs> oh, Speer. Well, he's definitely not in Africa. We made sure of that. Well, I'm kind of waiting to use my command power just in case for Mozambique. Unless in Tajanica. Oh, yeah, it is what it is. Oh. Oh, Botswana. Oh, he's not looking good now, is it? Yeah, I want to save the command power for uh, Mozambique. Zimbabwe punishes. You can play as them. That's a really nice picture. Really cool picture. Uh, if we only had a few million more men. Oh, you're white. Wait, what? Clifford Dupont. You sound familiar. Um. Wait, we have more decisions. Send supplies. Oh, yeah, we can send supplies. Yeah, I'm, I, I gotta save it for this place. And now that some of the order has collapsed around here, um, that just means that it's gonna be so much more... You thought there was gonna be a lot of bloodshed under Hutig. You know how many different African states are just gonna literally murder each other for power here? Like, it doesn't even have to be Africa. It, it'll happen in Iran. It'll happen in Iraq. 
there's going to be such a massive power vacuum that, you know what, millions will probably end up dying. If you just stay under Hans Hutig, he will take care of us all. One way or another, you know. Also, someone did ask, is it Hail Hutig or is it Hail Hans? Well, I don't know if you're speaking English, but it's Heil Hutig. Heil. Ha Hail? No, it's Heil. He is our African Fuhrer. Yes, please. Wow, this looks really bad. It's worse than Mozambique, so... Uh, I just want to make sure we have Quillamane. Unrest and most... Oh, bad words. Joseph Mengel. Oh, guys, you might want to leave soon. Chimilski. Alta Foschner. Franz Hosta. Um, no. Point nine Drops to... Po oh, point seven. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Mm, that does not feel good. Please, can we at least get to the Great Purge? Let's get to at least the Great Purge first. Please, 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 please. No, control Mozambique lost. No. Zwingend from Gruppenführer Adam Grunwald, CO Division Lowe, to Hantutig. For the benefit of the Shah Hitler's SS personal safety, it is strongly recommended that the Reichstadt's administrative seat be moved upon Quillemain. SS Division Lowe is presently maintaining it open or maintaining an open for an evacuation. However, it should be noted that increased for limo roadside bomb attacks have made the road route tenuous, and any further delay will prove catastrophic. Hutik frowned. He'd been reading reports about the rebels taking over the countryside for a few weeks now. No matter how many he killed, they kept on attacking. It had come to this, sipping some of this cognac. He pointed at the map on his desk, somberly marking a spot with his pencil. Leopoldville. <sighs> Please don't. Please. We're just trying to make this place... <clears throat> Accessible to everyone. Deploy the tinies. Hey, for the budget. Unrest in Congo. Oh, please don't tell me we're collapsing yet. Because there is a super event, and I want to hear the music for it, if there is. Wait, we get double for the revolution. Burundi or Rwanda? Oh man, please don't blow up, please. Oh, you, you're you a bunch of fascists, and you're a bunch of actual nationalists. Root and stem. Oh boy. Celebration at the writing uh, the garrison's ranks of Bolshevism or Bolshevik traitors has proven premature. Angola's administrator or administrative class has grown soft under years of Mueller's lax and treasonous rule. Attempts to restore air and discipline has ba backfired dramatically, with what began as a strike among slow level bureaucrats boiling over to the point that the mayor of Luanda has actively refused orders by Colonial Amt to condemn dissident or dissent against my legitimate rule. Troops have been re redirected from neighboring towns Luanda and secure the city's whilst plans can be made to surround the mayor's office. Civil garrison units assigned to the mayor's protection, as well as the protection of the Wanda's administrative centers, have mutinied in support of the traitors. Whilst the mutinous troops are outnumbered, outnumbered by loyal troops, it has been observed that they are being distributing arms to the striking bureaucrats. With these added numbers, their force is believed to be similar to our own in size. Please advise. I advise you to deal with this like someone competent would. I'm getting that open just in case. No! Well, we're probably going to fall first before the Boer Republic. Oh. The Great Purge. Now this is a nice event. Did anything happen here? Still worsening. No, okay. Well, I guess we've got time to read one more. Um, Increase arm shipments, maybe? Or, uh, let's do burn them all. No more exceptions, no more looking away. There is only one cure for degeneracy. Complete extermination. I don't care what some pencil pusher propagandist German Rania says. I don't care about however many villages are filled with subhumans I have to raise. This confident, or continent will be ruled by Aryans and shall be free. Free from degeneracy, free from subhumans. Anyone who stands in the way of an Aryan, Africa, will be eradicated. It's not looking good down here. The road to Leopoldville. Gruppenfeuer Grunewald was wrong. The Lova division hadn't held and died with him. However, what remained of Shank's flyboards had stitched up a solution, a Junker 290, which Hans Huketig and Hoppe were now boarding. He could hear the mortar fire from the suburbs, which was left, what was left of the SS, which wouldn't last. No matter, all the prisoners had already been killed when he ordered the city's embedment. Free Liga would get, wouldn't get their rats back. Hoppe uh, started to say something before shaking his hand. The cabin was cramped and the seats shook when the rotor started up. Huketig wanted some cognac, but the plane had weight limits, so he had ordered his entire reserve destroyed along his, alongside his office. Everything he owned, his chair, carefully filed reports, all gone. He didn't care, for he would dispense with such luxuries in an instant. His officers, however. The plane made the painful trek down the runway. Two young administrators, Eichenlanda and Von Thrappen, each eyed each other. Both had their sh had shot their children when they weren't... Well, well, both had shot their children when they were told there wasn't enough space for them. 
Why were they doing this? All along, Hutik had been proven right, but abandoning Mozambique? After all the efforts to centralize the administration in Quillemaine, how could the Reichstadt survive? The plane routed as it took off the ground. Von Trappen continued to look at the I Eichenlande. Nothing was said even now, but they both knew what the other thought. Hutik better have a good plan, or else. Well, that's why you don't bring kids to Africa. There's already enough kids there. It seems like it's going up. Can you revolt? Whatever. Which part is not revolting yet? This part is down here. It's doing okay. Mikau? Uh, let's see. Cameroon is great. Namibia, Mozambique's okay. Oh, the, the dam is done, but how? Oh, that's a really nice. Look at that blue. That's a beautiful blue color. Led by handsome Yvonne Yevzgren Sarak. I like, I love this color, man. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And a new HQ. Hunting trophies from the days of the Reichs in Central Africa still embellish the walls of Siegfried Müller's former palace in Leopoldville. Fulshner hadn't had time to redecorate, apparently. Who to ignore that with disapproval? He wanted all this degenerate and decadent nonsense destroyed. In fact, he ordered it to be. He raged at it. Why didn't anyone follow his orders anymore? When Hans began to set up his new command center after fleeing Mozambique, he found it just filled with mementos from Edmund Geilenberg and Jacques Massou. An operational map of Central Africa filled with red pins not marking the sites of partisan attacks, but the presence of a big game with, without his cognac. Who took it, looked for, and found a new opiate. Hate. Hate for Merlo and all of his degeneracy. It was his failures that made the governing the Reichstadt so difficult, and he wouldn't stand for it. Once more, he'd ordered everything destroyed. All the taxidermy, all the photographs, all of it. What Hans Hutik had failed to realize, however, was that Otto Forschner was no longer listening. In fact, he and his administrators had more interest in mentally relieving the days of Müller's administration with all the relative stability it implied than in carrying it out. Anything in relation to Hutig's rapidly diminishing authority to order anything. With each passing day, with new outposts destroyed by partisans, with every helicopter that was shot down, the glares aimed at the Shah Hitler by subordinates grow more and more hostile until one day, also fortunate, exasperated, turns to one of his officers, there is cancer killing the Reichstadt, and his name is Hans Hutig. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We lasted until at least, come on, get to July, can we get to July, come on. We got we got to the July. Now if we use console commands we can probably definitely get to uh nineteen seventy, but we'll see what happens. Like it's gonna take some extra time off screen for me to do this then. But the economy is doing great. What we're, we're doing gangbusters up here. Good conspiracy. Um, that's not looking good. Are we in stage four yet? Point one point two goes down to point nine. Verat! Two Unimogs and a staff car violently parked themselves outside the Shah Hatlo's palace. From the trucks emerge two dozen SS men, all veterans of South Africa. Their FNLAGs at the ready. They break down the front door. What they see is Paul Werner Hopper going down the staircase. What's the meaning of a bust of rifle fire answers the question for him. The SS men make their way up the stairs. One of them slips on Hopper's blood. Uh, only his Stahlhelm saves him from a concussion. When the soldiers clear up the last of the loyal scars, they see a slim figure go out of Shaw Hitler's office. 52 rounds decimate the body but it turns out to be Joseph Mangel. No, not Mangel. One more name off the list, then they radio back to the status. All clear. From the Kubelwagen outside, Otto Forschner and his four fellow officers make their way up the, to the squad. Nothing is said as Forschner gives a nod to the Untersturmfeuer. The door is broken down with his rifle's butt. Hans Hutig continued writing up his report to Ostpers even now, his door being kicked down by the traitors that didn't bother him in the slightest. He was in his seventies. What could they do to him that this godforsaken continent hadn't already? Fulshina walked in, two soldiers right beside him. Hans, Fulshina gulped, it's over. There was no response for seven seconds. He had to finish the last sentence of his report. Tension increased exponentially until he looked up and nodded. After putting the lid on his pen, Stahl had left. Hutig pulled back his chair, straightened up, and extended his arm almost back at perfect 45 degree angle. He would face his firing squad with dignity. Looking back, he could only find two last words which meant anything to him. Heil Hitler. Uh, you're gonna ruin this off for everyone, huh? You're gonna ruin this off, Falschner. Falschner is a traitor. Oh, that's actually not bad. Look at that. Well, I have a connoisseur of the front. Oh, man, and something just slid down on my desk. What the heck? I didn't even touch anything. You're kind of handsome. Not really, but I like that eye patch. Uh, this is us now, huh? Let's see. Hey, we're no longer surrounded by degeneracy. I like that flag. That looks pretty cool. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's lagging hard. I just want to know how many. What the number is of people that's been eliminated. Full scale riots, trade SS. Oh, that's not bad for them. Uh, American patrolled waters, aeronautical training, bombers awaited in the clouds. Look at all the stuff they got. 
I can definitely see Angola getting a focus tree, for, you know, as being one of the first nations in Africa to actually get one. Just because it seems like there's some content there that is being planned to be used. Can we get through burning them all? Can we get to August? Foolish no. How dare you. Wait, why is this going down? 4%? Wait, why is it going down? Mango's still here. Domes? Uh, okay. Um, I don't know, national daddyism keeps increasing by the day. A right shot of reward. Uh, by the order of Reich Kommissar Hontutig, by the powers vested within him, under the guidance of the Fuhrer and all of the greater German Reich, the administration of the G Gross Afrikanische Reichstag has found the following men guilty and in readiness for immediate execution. Orwell Sturmfuhrer Lothar von Henwitz, for persisting past regulated nighttime hours alongside a state of drunkenness, Sturmann Sigmund Koenig, for participating in the unapproved gathering of Reichstag men, participating in a source of entertainment deriving from... The execution ceremony was long, arduous, and informal as much as the elite executioner belabored it with fanciful words and legalistic symbology. Yet, that's exactly what each of these bad word traders deserve. Hours kept with that weaved bag over their head and darkness as this despicable sun bore down upon each and every one of them. Tied to those rotten sticks of wood in a swath of fiery sands. Yes, this was it. This is what the Rex Commissar wanted. Right? Africa purified. Africa cleansed with a nary a soul who dared spoke against them any longer and this only solidified empire to cause domain. Finally, when these men's blood would coat the sands of this foul desert, their life blood would give rise to something new. Something beautiful. A domain ordered by Hans Hutig, for Hans Hutig, made of Hans Hutig. Fire the Hopstrom fell, cried, as explosion of rifles echoed out and the heated shell casings hit the sand around them. Every one of the men who dared to cross Hans Hutig had fallen, and now a new arrow was being born for the gross African show Reichstadt, a black sun dawns. Up your Africa! Well, what's left of Africa? Oh, uh, what's over here? The day after. Ah, the day after this traitor in his ink. Star Hitler, also fortunate, still couldn't get his predecessor's blood off his desk, or the hallway that mattered. Nevertheless, he could get used to his new position. With Hutu gone, he was able to deal with a few outbreaks of partisan violence outside of Leopoldville in a sane fashion. It looked just like order might just be restored, and their skin saved, as Forstner went over a ledger, detailing the financial situation of the state. Helmut von Trippen walked in, hired Forstner, and all the other solutions ensued, which, following which von Trippen landed over a report. His eyebrows was raised, and it was a telegram from Lieben Lebehenschel, Bea and Hoka executed by firing squad. As they successfully purged, a then it stopped. Helmut, what happened to the rest of the port? Von Threppen had just finished talking to an aide. The line was apparently cut off, Herr Forschner. The communications officer just handed out what they had. As the Stahl Hitler was demanding an explanation for the failure to keep the network running, more bad news arrived. Chmielski survived the attempt to kill him. As was preparing his forces to strike north. Forschner was about to call up Rudel and ordered him to put down the rogue SS units when Helmut... Eichenlander came up racing the stairs with a set of reports from Oberkommando des Reichstats, or Reichstats, of which he'd been head of until taking over from Hutig. Well, what was it? Uh oh What? Hey! Land auction. Collapse of Oberkommando des Reichstats. Without any threats of Hutig putting them into concentration camps. Many local administrators and commanders were finally given the chance for a way out. As also fortunate enough soon realized, quite a number had taken it. First report was from the Congo. The Katanga, the Katanga garrison had carried out a coup, installing Jean Schramm as his mercenaries to head the new government. A sense of dread began to engulf the Stahl Hitler, and he knew it could only get worse, but continued reading it anyways. Rhodesian well, Anglo units were taking up arms and fleeing south, the remnants of the fleet that had set sail for Burgundy, and North, northern Congo battalions interned themselves in Iberia. A surprise attack by partisans took Hitler's shot unopposed. Volshner then realized that it was all lost. He hurried to pick up the phone and tell Rudolf to prepare an evacuation. Where to, he didn't know, just anywhere but here. It was too late, of course. No one picked up the phone. Volshner was paralyzed. Soon enough, he would know why. A mass defection of remaining Africana Luftwaffe squadrons to Argentina and St. Helena had taken place. He threw away the report from Sudwest Africa before reading it. Without the Luftwaffe, it was good as lost. No more reports came in after that. For, as the Stahl Hitler knew, Oberkommando des Reich Reichstats now existed only in name. By the end of the day, Forstner had a clear picture of the Reichstadt's position, doomed. Although those forces had managed to set up a perimeter around the capital, and the Riverine fleet still controlled by the lake, the continent was lost. All there remained now was a way to find a way to survive. The end of the Reichskommissariat? I don't know about that. See, this is what happens when you kill off Hans Hutig. This would have been fine if you didn't kill him off.
The whore. The wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. How Hitler there? Uh, you can't find that too often on YouTube, I guess. But man, Africa. Thank you for playing. Um, so we're here, and oh, Africa. Oh, do you still have showing us still here? Oh, actually, that's not too bad if he's still here. I mean, maybe someday he'll get a, a focus tree at you know once everything is you know done. But I don't know. Popular Republic, but Africa is looking pretty normal now. And the Boer Republic's still here. That'd be really cool if they get like something. Oh, Hetzog is here too. Um, wow, attack and defense on core territory. That's pretty good. But well, they got a unique focus tree once we collapse. But let me go see if we can extend how far we can go by using not cheats, but cheats at the same time. And here we are, May 8th, 1968. I actually wasn't able to last as long as possible after like pretty much cheating to get the entire focus tree done. Uh, so as you can see, oh, we have no focus tree. I did every single focus. We even had the second South African Civil War and I kept spamming units for them to get. Um, yeah, they have a lot of units. Uh, and I've been just pumping out a bunch of units as well. Yeah, I guess I, they get a bunch of infantry divisions and or battalions and engineers. But apparently, like, we collapsed and I wasn't able to, what the heck, investigate their treason? Hello. This thing is back. Look, Mueller and Shank is back? Okay, that's different. They traps? O okay, then. This stuff comes back. That's interesting. Acting in Cameroon. It's going to collapse. Regardless. So I wasn't able to finish things here. I did the focus tree part where it says, like, you know, with the economy and such and repression and, like, German management camps. I did that one. We end up getting 34,000 slaves. I think that's why we collapsed a little faster. Apparently, people don't like getting whipped, so... Go figure. But anyways, uh, this is pretty much it. I, there's, there's nothing else I can really do about this. I literally did um, use console commands for this to get, like, see as, see how long we could last. Just don't put people in camps too much. But, hey, you know, it's Africa, it's Africa. Other than that, we had the Opal Command all suit Africa win. They have no Phoenix Focus tree like we saw. But I guess that's going to be it. I love Africa. Never have stopped loving it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign.